His Only Son is directed by David Helling, which is slightly ironic. It's a crowdfunded film, which is a pretty cool concept to hear, considering the fact that it had a really wide release. Every theater in my area was showing it in big theaters, and it seemed like they were pretty filled up for all the time slots, so it seems like it's doing really well. It's about the biblical story of Abraham being commanded by God to go sacrifice his son. It was cool to see a movie like this come out before Easter. I know the timing makes sense, but I don't see too many movies like this come out. Such a pure telling of the story. Small disclaimer before I start, I am going to review the movie from a Christian perspective because I think that's obviously the target audience before Easter. So that's the perspective I'm going to be reviewing it from. This is one of the least watered down biblical stories I've ever seen in film form. It's not only the telling of Abraham's story that seems very pure, but also the way that they describe people's relationship with God or the human experience of faith. I think it'll force people that are Christians going to see this film before Easter to look inward at themselves and their relationship with God. There are some really great monologues given by Nicholas Muwad, I hope I said the name right, who plays Abraham. On his journey to the mountain, he's with this group and they're conversing about faith and about the meaning of why God is telling Abraham to go do this. I thought the film did a really good job of taking some of the doubt and struggles with faith that we have today and relating it to a really extreme situation. Speaking of Nicholas Muwad, I think he did a really great job as Abraham. You can see the struggle on his face and he gave a very compelling and emotional performance that honestly stood out amongst the rest of the cast. There are a lot of flashback scenes throughout the film where Abraham speaking with Sarah, his wife, played by Sarah Saeed. Those are some of my favorite parts of the film, not only because I needed a refresher of the background, but because it fleshed out his character for the film. And not only did those scenes flesh out his character, but some of his conversations with his wife were some of the most emotional parts of the film. You can definitely tell they were on a tight budget, so there weren't a lot of settings and fancy things it really came down to the acting and there were a lot of still shots on the actors while they were performing especially in those scenes between Abraham and his wife and I thought it definitely showed how great of an emotional performance they were giving especially Sarah she did a great job in that role there was also a really interesting cast of characters that traveled with Abraham some people I didn't even know from the biblical story I thought they gave pretty solid performances and it might be a little bit nitpicky but some of the other actors and scenes kind of took me out of the film a little bit as soon as you get out of that core group you notice there's some cringy accents and things that are really inconsistent and the acting ability definitely dropped a little bit. But the reason I say that's nitpicky is because I think this film at the end of the day is a very accurate and touching portrayal of this biblical story that I think is a controversial one, but it does a great job of portraying it. It does a great job of keeping you engaged the whole time, especially if you care about the story and it means something to you. So I don't think people are going to this film for an Oscar winning groundbreaking drama performance. My only issue with the film is something I alluded to earlier about the fact that the flashbacks were some of the most interesting parts of the film. I wish they would have told a story just chronologically, just starting at the beginning and going all the way to the journey which maybe is just the third act. It would have made it so that they're not telling the story in a bunch of flashbacks, which ruined the pacing of the whole journey. Plus, it would have given you that background on Abraham earlier, which would explain some of the emotions and things he's feeling throughout the journey a little bit better than trying to do it in flashbacks and dreams constantly. It's like a new thing these days. Every story has to be told out of order or the end of the film's at the beginning, then we circle back to it. It's just getting kind of old and annoying. I like it when it adds something to the film, but in this case, I thought it took something away. And other than that, I feel bad to even mention, but there's obviously little things I could touch on, like the costumes at times were bad, accents were inconsistent, some of the graphics and green screen was super obvious and took me out of the movie a little bit. And of course, the pacing was broken a lot by those flashbacks, but overall was a little bit slow with a lot of reused areas. It kind of took me out of it. It made it feel a little bit less like a journey at times. Overall, I think anybody interested in seeing this movie before Easter time is going to really love it. It's very touching, it's very sincere, and it is told with a massive amount of conviction. This is not watered down in any way. It is a very solid retelling of the story, but it's also a very deep inward look that it requires of the viewer, and I think it made it all the better for that. This movie would have never seen the light of day if it wasn't crowdfunded. The message is so sincere, and it's so not watered down to the point that I think people that are interested in the Bible story are going to be very happy with it. Other people are going to be super turned off because unless you are very religious yourself or willing to look inward like that, this is going to be super uber religious. 
So I definitely think it accomplished what it was going for for that Easter crowd. So on my Hollem's hero scale, I'm gonna give his only son a knight ranking. Just as a frame of reference, I'd say that's about a C plus. I think this movie did a really good job with what it was setting out to do, but it's obviously not perfect. But I'm definitely being more forgiving because it is a crowdfunded film and I think people are gonna enjoy it for what it is. I would almost give it a king rating, but just in all fairness, I'd say it's about a C plus. Thank you guys as always for watching.